For this video, we're going to um, type in some text and then add clip art to that text. We have a detailed video about just entering custom text if you wanted to watch that. Um, this one, I'll breeze through it a little bit more quickly and then focus a little bit more on the clip art. So how to get to our Creative Studio is on the left-hand column in the website. You will look right under Create Your Own and the very first link is Wall Decal. So you go ahead and click there and you will come up on this page right here. Um, for this video, I'm going to enter a name and then number two, step number two, I will select a font that I like. You'll notice that the font does reflect in your text above whenever you select it. And you can move it down a little bit if you want to. You don't have very much text. Sometimes that's a little bit easier to see. Um, I like this girls are weird font. So I think I'll keep that. Um, letter height. I am going to make this rather large, I think, at six inches high. Step number four, I can change the wall color to the wall color that most closely matches what you have at home in the room that you're going to be applying it. So we'll say this is beige. And then number five is where you change the color of your actual product or your vinyl. So I'm going to make this red for Susan because she likes red. Now we have bright red and then we also have burgundy um, or dark red. Dark red is my favorite of the three, so I think we'll pick that. Number six, I cover um, in our other video, which deals mainly with the text where you can just print and save what you're doing, or you can add another text layer. But for this video, we're going to focus on the clip art. So you'll see above we have three tabs, custom text, monogram, and then clip art. So I'm going to add a little bit of clip art for Susan's decal up there. Now all of the clip arts here are 10 inches at the price, um, but if you wanted something larger, you could contact us um, via email at contact at writeonthewalls.com. Just let us know which one you like and you know, we can make that larger for you. So I think for her bird, I can change the color. I don't really want to do dark red again. Maybe I like the bright red for that or even a gray. No. How about black? I'll just stick with that. And then I can add more clip art. There's a bunch of different stuff in here. Maybe a heart or well, she likes high heels. So maybe I want that and I will make that bright red. And you can pretty much add as much clip art as you want. Um, put a few clouds around it to really kind of dress up your text. It doesn't have to be a name. You could use this on anything. Maybe you have a phrase and it's a religious phrase and you want to add, you know, a different cross or pet phrase. We have a bunch of little pet clip art, fire, flowers, all kinds of stuff. So pretty much anything you want, you can, you can find something in here that you would like. There's even like embellishments if you wanted to, um, you know, put like a little fancy little scroll underneath someone's name. And then you can always move them around. Sometimes if you have a bunch on there, it gets to be a little bit more difficult, but you can move them around however you want them. Now on this screen, this is where it comes in handy to go back to the custom text and then click on that print and save. Now if you click on that, what that does is it'll open up the in another window where you can just go ahead and print this out on your home computer so that whenever all these pieces arrive separately, you can put them together exactly how you had them um, originally on there. Because the white is gonna come separate than the bright red and the dark red. So that way you can arrange everything exactly how it was on your screen. Okay, if you have any questions, please contact us at contact at writeonthewalls.com and thank you for watching.